So unfortunately, that was the last time that squirrel was ever able to fly a plane. But you know, it's, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Just hanging out with Sam Hain and uh, having some coffee on a beautiful fall morning. Very brisk, 36 degrees this morning. It was pretty chilly. I don't have my cold weather gear geared up yet, so whatever. But we are still going to uh, Custom Works Royal Enfield Buffalo to check out the uh, new Scram 411s that they have in stock. And uh, if I'm lucky enough, I'll get to do a test drive. Stay tuned to find out. So again, it's a beautiful fall morning here at Custom Works Royal Enfield Buffalo. And I came in to check out the new Scram 411s. 411 cc motor, uh, 20 four horsepower I believe and a variety of colors including this awesome white flame that is the first one that I saw it caught my eye for sure also comes in silver spirit blazing black skyline blue and a multitude of graphite colors including blue red and yellow so looking over these bikes super appealing to the eye very similar to the Himalayan but a little stripped down I uh, was lucky enough to be able to take this for a test drive and I can give you my opinions you know, as I'm riding, but also real quick, I'll just tell you that it was a very light, nimble and agile piece of equipment. It was very fun to ride. It had a nice quick pickup on it. Um, the turning on it was what most impressed me and it was just extremely grippy. Uh, so it, it just felt like you could fall into corners, you know, just, just fall in around stoplights and curbs and whatnot. Uh, and it was, it was really responsive and really sticky. And I enjoyed that. The dash reminded me an awful lot of the meteor. And, um, I guess the, uh, new, these bikes have, uh, like skid guards on them instead of like a more of a bigger fairing, like on the Himalayan. Um, so there's just a few other things that I'm sure Don will explain as we get into it, but I just wanted to showcase a few of the colors and uh, variations that they had here and um you know we'll get into it in just a second so if you like the video or have more info would like to comment and whatnot please feel free i am not an expert motorcycle mechanic or anything like that i just know what i like and i'm always open to uh new info finding out what's going on so leave a comment leave a like and subscribe we'll talk to you soon take it away don so how you doing? I'm Don, Custom Works Royal Enfield of Buffalo, here in Buffalo, New York. We're located at 5035 Transit Road in Depew, New York. And uh, we're here showing you the Scram today. These are brand new 2023 Royal Enfield Scram 411s, sistered off the Himalayan, which is a very, very popular bike. Adventure riding has really taken off here in the state of New York. So it just stands to reason. Bring out another model. So like the Himalayan, 411 cc engine, Slight differences, it's a little bit lower. They're running different tires or smaller tires on these bikes. A little bit more of a urban style adventure riding as compared to the Himalayan, a little bit more rugged. Uh, but a lot of the same features, fuel injected, ABS braking, price out the door, $6,000 in your county sales tax, which how do you sneeze at that? A couple of differences in these bikes, aside from the tires and bringing it down a little bit, is you'll notice there's no tank engine guards. They've got skin pads on there now. No windscreen, which is also different compared to the Himalayans. And they do run a slightly different tune. They're a little bit lighter, still about 24 horsepower, um, but what an absolutely gorgeous bike. I and mean, we were lucky we had Eric come in today and uh, he took it for a test ride. And I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I'm sure you'll give your review later on in the video. Uh, we've got 14 of these things in stocks, all flavors. You can also visit our website at royalenfieldbuffalo.com where you can reserve this bike without even coming in. Reserve the bike on the spot. Make sure you get the flavor you want. and Or give us a call. Give us a call. We can do a lot of things by the telephone. If we learned anything from COVID, it was how to do things remotely. And, and uh, we look forward to working with anybody that's interested. Stop in for a test drive, much like Eric did. Um, if you are indeed interested, you could reach us at 716-651-0044. Again, we're on Transit Road in Depew, New York. Uh, I think I said it, we have 14 in stock already, and we still do have some 22 INTs available and a GT still available. I think Eric took some pan shots out in the parking lot of what we got. And uh, what'd you think of your test drive, Mr. Eric? So I'm taking this scram out. For a test drive, it's uh, very similar to the Himalayan, but a little bit different with the center console, not as much going on, a little bit more simplified. Reminds me a lot of my Classic, which is really cool. Got your uh, 
your ignition switch, uh, your engine kill, your hazards, blinkers, horn, uh, high beam flash, some of those things, and uh, some of the apparatus is simpler. Reminds me a lot of Kelly's uh, Meteor. So this should be really fun. We'll take it out for a spin around the block and see how it goes. Uh, the first thing that I noticed right off the bat is this brake, foot brake on the right hand side here is lower than on my Classic. So that was something on the Himalayan when I took that out that I'll have to get used to. Should uh, put my gear down, and by gear I mean my helmet. There we go. A little bit better. I've got a microphone in my pocket. If you know what I'm saying just to kind of get a little bit of note of the exhaust, so hopefully you can hear that. Yeah, it's amazing how different this brake is and how low it goes down. Got to get used to it, brand new bike. So hopefully this uh, lower GoPro is getting the hang of the dash and that kind of perspective. And then I've got the uh, one on the helmet set up for the wide view so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, it's like 40 some degrees and you'll notice that I am an idiot because I forgot my jacket. Who does that? I was so excited to get out here. That's all I can say. So. Ooh, that felt good. That was a very comfortable grippy turn. Moderate speed. It's only been a very brief jaunt around the block so far. Uh, and I won't go forever just because I don't have a jacket on, really. I've got my... Uh, I have a vest on. Not like a tuxedo vest or anything. So the shift down was decent. Um, turning on this bike is great so far that is something that is extremely noticeable to me um, it feels extremely responsive and grippy So as you can see, as a side note, the trees are starting to change. Kelly and I did a uh, road trip to Letchworth State Park uh, recently, and we are getting geared up to release that video. Uh, it's probably going to be a two or three parter because there was just so much to see. Um, just the first batch of footage was over three hours, and I whittled it down, but there's still so much more that if, you, if you're interested in the park, you know, I just want to show you everything without people getting bored. My attention span is so short on YouTube. I have, uh, if, it's, <laughs> if it's too much longer than 20 minutes, unless it's really good, I, it's very difficult for me. So I try to be cognizant of that with everybody that's watching our videos. So anyways, nice acceleration on this bike. It's a beautiful bike, by the way. I love the colors. You'll probably see in some of the other footage that I shot that they at uh, Custom Works have a ton of these and there are more that are still in the box. So that's crazy. But uh, I couldn't decide which of the colors I liked the best. There was the black and red one, which I'm always partial to. And uh, this red and white one is just uh, very eye catching. So I think what I'll do there's a nice creek coming up. Man, I wish I could go off-road with this thing. See how that's all doing. There's a road coming up to the uh, right 
that kind of goes back by a quarry. So maybe I'll take that and open it up a little bit. Yeah, that's real grippy. This feels very light. We're already over 55. No dumping. Good advice. Vibration wise, <laughs> I definitely feel a lot of vibration in the sack area. <laughs> and I ain't talking about a backpack. Oh, but did you feel that curve? That was cool. So it's 35, we were easily pushing 60 just then, I think. 55, 60. Again, I know this area is kind of fairly heavily patrolled and such, so I don't want to go too nuts. But I'm very excited about this. It's a really cool bike. It feels very agile and light. It feels very lightweight and agile. It might not be lightweight. We'll have to get the specs going for that. But. comfy. I think if you're interested in an adventure bike that is uh, very corners awesome, it's very comfortable, lightweight, feel like you're flying a little bit, this would be a great option. I tried the Himalayan uh, a couple of weeks back and although I enjoyed that as well, that one seemed a little bit, I'm about five just under 5'7", and that one seemed a little bit awkward to me, personally, just because of, probably just because of that, and I wasn't used to riding it. I'm used to riding the 350 Classic, so I'm sure I would get used to it if I could. But uh, this bike is great so far. So nice falling into the turn. So it, as you're going, you can basically, it's so light, you can stay upright until you just kind of drop into the turn if you want to. It's just like on the old skateboard ramps, that's what it feels like. You're just there, and then all of a sudden, boosh. Look at it, here's a pretty straight, right? Wee. And a stop sign that was never there is now there. Easily climbed to 60. <laughs> it is so grippy on the turns. I love how grippy the spike is on the turns. I keep hitting my other GoPro with the top GoPro, in case you're wondering what that clinking noise is. I don't usually wear two, but I thought it would be neat to get a vision of the dash and all that stuff in the gas tank at the same time as the other stuff. We got a cat. We got a cat up on the right. How's this bike do with cats? Oh, it seems to do pretty well. And squirrel. Yeah, this would be a seriously fun bike to take off-road. I already like it.
so yeah the lean angle oh here's a genius with the grass hey well this is an off-road bike right uh what was my point oh yes i am very interested in getting the, the gt but riding this i can really see getting one of these if I was going to be doing a lot of off-roading or even you know just some adventure riding but the uh, the lean angle on it is great like comfortably like you don't have to think too much about it you just kind of go for it lean into it and it's almost like the bikes like I got you I got you This way, Borden Road, ye old Borden Road. And zipping back to the dealer. distracting me i'm picturing you in your underwear to make this easier <laughs> oh i'm sorry that sucks <laughs> that's not gonna make anything easier what for these anybody. guys don't know is it matches your shirt <laughs> i'm not wearing any oh damn <laughs> 